The British Conquest of Australia, The Tragic Legacy of Colonization The British colonization of Australia is a story of conquest, cultural destruction, and exploitation that has had profound and lasting effects on the continent and its indigenous people. When British settlers arrived in 1788, they encountered a land rich in resources, inhabited by diverse Aboriginal societies with complex cultures, languages, and traditions. The colonization process, driven by the British Empire's expansionist ambitions, led to the systematic dispossession of indigenous Australians, the decimation of their population, and the near eradication of their culture. This video explores the British conquest of Australia, examining the pre-colonial Aboriginal societies, the motivations behind British colonization, the treatment of indigenous people, the destruction of their culture, and the long-term consequences of these actions. Before the arrival of the British, Australia was home to hundreds of Aboriginal groups, each with its own language, customs, and spiritual beliefs. The Aboriginal peoples had lived on the continent for at least 65,000 years, developing a deep connection to the land and its resources. They were hunter-gatherers, using sophisticated knowledge of the environment to sustain their communities. Their way of life was intricately tied to the land, which they viewed as a living entity imbued with spiritual significance. This relationship with the land was expressed through art, song, dance, and oral traditions, which were passed down through generations. The British decision to colonize Australia was driven by multiple factors. In the late 18th century, Britain faced a growing population, economic pressures, and overcrowded prisons. The loss of the American colonies in 1783 also left Britain searching for new territories to assert its influence and expand its empire. Australia, with its seemingly vast and unclaimed lands, presented an ideal solution. Additionally, the British were interested in the strategic advantages of having a base in the Southern Hemisphere, particularly to counter French expansion in the Pacific. The First Fleet, consisting of eleven ships carrying convicts, soldiers, and settlers, arrived in Botany Bay in January 1788. Captain Arthur Phillip, the leader of the expedition, soon moved the settlement to Port Jackson, where he established the colony of New South Wales. From the outset, the British viewed Australia as terra nullius, nobody's land, disregarding the existence of the Aboriginal peoples and their established rights to the land. This doctrine of terra nullius would have devastating consequences for the indigenous population. The British colonization of Australia was marked by violence, dispossession, and discrimination against the Aboriginal people. The settlers, driven by a belief in their own racial and cultural superiority, saw the indigenous Australians as primitive and incapable of utilizing the land effectively. This racist attitude justified the seizure of Aboriginal lands without treaty or compensation. The arrival of the British brought diseases such as smallpox, influenza, and measles, to which the Aboriginal population had no immunity. These diseases spread rapidly, decimating indigenous communities. It is estimated that the indigenous population of Australia, which numbered between 300,000 and 1 million before colonization, was reduced by up to 90% within the first century of British settlement. The British also engaged in violent conflicts with the Aboriginal people who resisted the encroachment on their lands. These conflicts, known as the Frontier Wars, lasted from 1788 to the early 20th century. The British forces, often aided by settlers and paramilitary groups, employed brutal tactics to suppress resistance. Massacres, forced removals, and scorched-earth policies were common. The Myall Creek Massacre of 1838, where 28 Aboriginal men, women, and children were killed by settlers, is one of the many tragic examples of the violence inflicted upon indigenous communities. The British colonization of Australia led to the systematic destruction of Aboriginal culture. The settlers cleared vast tracts of land for agriculture, displacing indigenous communities and disrupting their traditional way of life. Sacred sites were desecrated, and access to hunting grounds and water sources was restricted.
The introduction of sheep and cattle by the settlers led to the overgrazing of the land, further degrading the environment that Aboriginal people relied on. The British also sought to civilize the Aboriginal population by forcing them to assimilate into European culture. Aboriginal children were taken from their families and placed in missions or foster homes where they were taught English and forbidden to speak their native languages or practice their cultural traditions. This policy, known as the Stolen Generations, had a devastating impact on Aboriginal communities, leading to the loss of cultural knowledge and the breakdown of family structures. The British government's efforts to convert Aboriginal people to Christianity further eroded their cultural identity. Missionaries established schools and settlements where Aboriginal people were expected to adopt European customs and beliefs. These attempts at cultural assimilation were often met with resistance, but the power imbalance between the colonizers and the indigenous population made it difficult for Aboriginal people to preserve their way of life. The British colonization of Australia was driven by the desire to exploit the continent's natural resources. The discovery of gold in the 1850s sparked a rush of settlers to the interior of the country, leading to further dispossession of Aboriginal lands. The British government and private companies established mines, farms, and ranches, often with little regard for the impact on the indigenous population. The Aboriginal people, who had lived sustainably on the land for thousands of years, were excluded from the benefits of the resource boom. They were often forced to work as laborers on the very land that had been taken from them, receiving little or no pay for their labor. The exploitation of Australia's resources contributed to the wealth of the British Empire, but it came at a tremendous cost to the indigenous population. The treatment of Aboriginal Australians during the colonial period and beyond has left a legacy of trauma and disadvantage that persists to this day. However, in recent decades, there has been a growing recognition of the injustices committed against the indigenous population, leading to efforts to address historical wrongs and promote reconciliation. In 1967, a referendum was held in Australia that allowed the federal government to make laws for Aboriginal people and include them in the national census. This was a significant step towards recognizing the rights of Indigenous Australians, but it was only the beginning of a long process of reform. In 1992, the Australian High Court delivered a landmark ruling in the case of Mabo v. Queensland, number 2, which recognized the concept of native title and overturned the doctrine of terra nullius. The court acknowledged that Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander peoples had rights to the land that predated British colonization. This decision paved the way for indigenous land claims and led to the establishment of the Native Title Act in 1993. Despite these legal victories, Aboriginal Australians continue to face significant challenges. They experience higher rates of poverty, unemployment, and incarceration compared to the non-indigenous population. Health disparities, including lower life expectancy and higher rates of chronic disease, are also prevalent among indigenous communities. Efforts to close the gap between indigenous and non-indigenous Australians have been ongoing, with the government implementing various policies and programs aimed at improving outcomes for Aboriginal people. These include initiatives to promote education, health care, and economic development in indigenous communities. Reconciliation efforts have also included symbolic gestures, such as the formal apology delivered by Prime Minister Kevin Rudd in 2008 to the Stolen Generations. This apology acknowledged the pain and suffering caused by past government policies and marked an important step towards healing the relationship between Indigenous and non-Indigenous Australians. The British conquest of Australia was a devastating event for the continent's Indigenous population. The colonization process led to the dispossession of Aboriginal lands, the destruction of their culture, and the exploitation of their resources. The impact of these actions is still felt today, as Aboriginal Australians continue to struggle with the legacy of colonization.
The story of British colonization in Australia is a reminder of the importance of respecting the rights and cultures of indigenous peoples and the need for continued efforts to address the lasting impacts of colonialism. As Australia moves forward, it is crucial to ensure that the voices of Aboriginal Australians are heard and that their rights are protected so that they can fully participate in and contribute to the nation's future.